Give us 60 minutes and we'll give you Nelson Radio every Saturday from 2 to 3 p.m. on KTLK AM 1150. With 29 years in the mortgage business and an array of top-level guests visiting the show, Nelson is in a unique position to bring you cutting-edge information on real estate, business, finance, and law. If you have any questions for Nelson or any of his guests, give him a call at 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136. Or check him out online at nelsonradio.com. Nelson Radio. Welcome back, KTLK. You're listening to Nelson Radio on KTLK AM 1150. We're on Saturdays from 2 to 3. This Sunday is going to be our broadcast from 12 to 1, I believe. I'm going to have to check on that. Why don't you just look at your watch? <laughs> yeah, I need to find out, huh? So we have a really incredible segment coming up. We have the founder and CEO of the Real Estate Radio Network, Ron Quintero, and he has a rich, rich history in bringing current and relevant news to the uh, marketplace, uh, really guiding the real estate market back and getting it on sound foundation and, and helping coach uh, the homeowner and the home buyer out of, out of this recession. So, Rob, let me ask you something, because we're sitting, for the viewers, we're sitting at, a, at, at two desks, you and I at one, and then and Phil and Ron at the other. But I want to ask you, is that, in fact, Ron sitting at the end? That is. I thought it was Martin Scorsese. <laughs> yeah. This segment brought to you by Best Chauffeured, worry-free and on-time limousine transportation oh. services worldwide. If you need a limo, text the word limo to 313131. If you've got comments, you've got questions, give us a shout. You can reach Mike and I at 888 That's 888 2136. So, Ron, welcome to the program. Thank you very much for having me. So, rebuilding the real estate market, and also, I want to point out to our listeners, the author of Bankruptcy to Prosperity, Defeating Your Debt and Making a Comeback. Tell us about the challenges of bankruptcy. You know, my sister's a great example. I think you just described her. She uh, filed BK back in 2008 after getting a divorce. Um, just the wheels came off her whole life. And uh, about five months ago, she rebuilt her credit over the four years, and she just bought her forever home. It's she the home that she, she's going to become an empty nester. She downsized. She, she said, well, I'm 52 years old, and this is going to be my last home. And so when you're talking about people emptying out and downsizing, that's her. And so she, she built back her wealth. You know, she's built back her credit. She had a great job going into it, just a lot of bad circumstances. You know, people hear the word bankruptcy. There's all this negative connotation associated with it. And people don't realize that over half of the bankruptcies that happen happen because of illness, me medical problems. Right. Something you know, so, completely out of their scope out of, their, of control. Yeah. Most people think bankruptcy, oh, an abuser of credit, oh, an abuser of, you know, trust. And, it, and yeah, there's those people out there, but for the most part, no, that's not the situation. You know, you got the six Ds, debt, divorce, uh, defaults. It happens. People lose their job, get discharged from their place of employment. Right. You know, there's all kinds of negative things that happen out there. Death. It's just part of it, and these things are sometimes out of a person's control. And some people, when they get that little moniker called bankruptcy, they think it's forever. They're forever going to be punished, and, and, and it's a temporary situation. It's a setback. Just a season. Just a season. Well, Ron, and that's a great story uh, about your sister. Thank you for sharing it. I think the only thing she'd be upset about is the fact that you said her age on the air. I'll but say her that, name, too. <laughs> <laughs> you will once. Yeah. But hey, let me tell you this, or let me ask you this. Uh, with, your, with your knowledge of the bankruptcies and how that, that's going on and people, again, uh, rehabilitating themselves after the bankruptcies, do you see them on the rise, or do you see bankruptcies going down right now? Bankruptcies have pulled back in the last couple of years. We, we were really at our peak at about 2009, 2010, but they're not going away. They've been, if, if you look at a chart, they've been in this channel. Now, we're on the bottom part of the channel, but we're not breaking below that. And so we see bankruptcies basically bouncing along about where they are right now. Good to know. Good to know. And you mentioned the, the, uh, the Ds of bankruptcy, debt, death, discharge of a job, divorce, disability. And defaults. And defaults. And so that's just life getting in the way. I, I wanted to ask you uh, about that in terms of the moniker of BKs. But let me tell you, this segment brought to you by Best Chauffeured, 
worry-free and worldwide transportation services. If you need a limo, give us a, uh, you can text the word limo to 313131. And of course, we want to invite your calls and comments. Give us a shout, 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136. So the moniker of BK, you mentioned that it does have that negative connotation. And it seems like people obviously aren't proud of having to go through those financial uh, turmoil. But at the same token, is it something that uh, there's comfort in company right now after the you know, recession? I, I know we're not on Christian radio, but bankruptcy was founded in the Bible. Deuteronomy 15, you shall be forgiven given other debt every six years. And our, you know, our country was founded on Judeo Christian belief. So a lot of the laws and a lot of the systems mm. that are in place come from the actual Bible. And so, you know, when you look at this, it's it's about forgiveness. It's 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 about control alt delete, reboot your life financially and get back after it. And and the client that's just had the opportunity to have their life cleansed and, and to get back after it. Uh, there's a reason that those rules are there. It, it's so we can reinvigorate our society by getting people economically reengaged again and not forever holding their water their head underwater. So what let me ask you this you've got somebody that's just declared bankruptcy they're at a low point in their life yep. what type of advice do you give them so that they can invigorate so they can be, get back in the in the in the game if you will and they can end up on the other side what would, what are some things that you've seen success stories like your sisters you yeah. shared that you've seen and what advice would you give you know, I've been retained by over 40 law firms in the past uh, 7 to 8 years to reorganize their their practice and there's a lot of what I call one and done attorneys, meaning that they attract a client, they get one retainer, they provide one service for them and they're done with the client. And what I've been doing is getting these uh, law firms to realize you need to become a financial counselor. Post bankruptcy, have a 12 step rebuilding program, mm -hmm. have a coaching program you can put these people on. They, they need that guidance. A lot of times these people get in trouble because of the lack of advice that they've, they've not received. And if you're gonna be their attorney, if they trust you, to say, here's a retainer, please help me with my situation. Become their attorney for life. Not just that one event or that one episode, become that counselor in their life. Yeah, so the wise so counselor. You, right, your advice is, again, for we attorneys, your advice is, hey, listen, after you file that, those discharge papers or after you have your 341A hearings or whatever the case may be, don't let that, don't lose that client for multiple reasons. Oh, no. Because that client could potentially be a great referral, but, but forget that. Look at the human, humanitarian aspect. You're bringing them back into a working society. My, my sister was very fortunate to come into contact with an attorney that gave her advice post-bankruptcy for rebuilding her credit. And now he's setting up her estate plan. You know, so there's all kinds of services that that one attorney was smart enough to see that she's gonna rebound. And, and he had in place a business model to be able to continue to be of advice and counsel for her and continue to receive three, four, five different retainers from her. See, I think that's a great idea. I think too often we are just looking at the problem at hand. I'll speak for myself, but maybe, maybe the legal com community agrees with me. You think of the problem at hand, we solve the problem at hand as the lawyer, and then we let them go on, we say have a nice life. And I think what you're talking about is so crucial to make sure that their life goes on, in this case, financially, so that they're not in that, that that situation again. The loneliest career is definitely a bankruptcy attorney. Nobody goes to a party and says, oh, you got to meet my BK attorney. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. exactly. And that then the BK say, them. and by the way, go to the dentist when you're done with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with my guest host, Mike Feld from the law office of Michael L. Feld. This segment presented by Best Chauffeur, worry-free and on-time limousine transportation services. We've been with Ron Quintero, from the Real Estate Radio Network and talking about bankruptcies, not only the going in, but, but uh, counsel on the coming out of and the recovery of. You can reach us direct, 888-888-2136. If you need a limo, simply text the word limo to 313131 and listen up. Coming up in this next segment, we're gonna have in the coach's corner, Hall of Fame athlete and really a champion of social change, Billie Jean King. Stay with us.